Okay, welcome to part eight. Part eight of the complete WP Engine Beginner's Guide preview um, and everything else. I'm going to talk finally, finally about redirects. Um, unless I think of a part nine, but I think this will be the last stage. Um, so redirects, uh, simply redirecting uh, one domain to another domain or one page on a site to another page on a site. Now there's plugins and stuff that can do this. Um, if you know what you're doing, you can even jump right in and screw around with something called the .ht access file. But um, those nice, nice guys at WP Engine um, set this up for you right out of the box. So if we go to our WP Engine control panel, and here's our experimental site here, my cool new site. Go to redirects. Right now you'll see there are none. Um, but if we wanted to create a new one, it's very simple. Um, I'll just perhaps give you a couple of examples before I do this. Um, why would you want to create a redirect in the first place? Uh, well, perhaps the most obvious reason is if you had an old site before and um, you know, redirects and stuff to a new site. Now, um, if I just jump out of this, if you're just redirecting the whole of, let's say you were acmewidgets.com and uh, and then you were bought out and the next day you were uh, nixwidgets.com and every page on the site was exactly the same, but the addresses hadn't changed. So if we go uh, here, so you know, if you had um, slash about slash contact, but the only thing that changed is this domain. Then that's that's much simpler to handle. You just simply uh, go to your domains. Uh, you can add a domain, or better yet, set up as a domain redirect. So um, if chapmandavis.com is your new domain and your old one was acmewidgets.com, um, just you hit add domain redirect. Type acmewidgets.com, add, and You'd also, you do, once you've done that, you go and do another one to a www. So now that would handle um, uh, all the people that bookmark the old pages, it would handle Google, um, not going to the wrong about page, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, all get picked up. Um, and that would all be handled through here. But if you, if we say, um, doing a different kind of redirect, so let's say, um, you had, and you could do quite you know, complex rules and things through here. So that's something you can Google if you need more detail. But I'll just show you a simple one. And if it's a topic you're really interested in, you, you, you know, you can just Google domain redirects um, and you get some more information. So first of all, you would set up a, a redirect name. So let's do a really simple example where, um, Say, I don't know, your contact us page has changed for some reason. So you'd say contact page redirect. This is just for your info. Yeah, so I just got advanced settings and stuff here as well, but we'll talk about those in a minute. So your source. Um, first of all, you need to, if it's a particular domain only, you need to select that. But I'm going to say it's all domains. So let's say our old one was slash contact us. Yeah, so. It was slash contact us, and um, we had to change it for some reason, and now it's slash contact. You just do your source, do your destination. You add another right now if you want, and then advanced settings, match args. So this is what I was talking about, where you can set up quite complex rules. So if if whole directories and stuff are moved, or you know if this then do this stuff is done there. Uh, but rewrite type nearly always you want 301 permanent. It's 302 temporary as well. Um, but if if something has permanently moved from slash contact to us to slash contact, then the one you want is 301 permanent. And this also tells search engines to update their records. So this won't happen instantly, but as your content gets spidered by Google or whatever, um, it will start to fix any sort of wrong wrong links from that point of view as well. So I just hit save. So let's um, actually just test this example. I'm just going to do one thing first, which we haven't done on this site. Is I didn't set up the permalinks when we created it. So I'm going to settings permalinks. Why am I doing this? Because let me show you. If I go at the moment, Chapman Davis, I go to this post. So you've got this and, sorry, and question mark P equals one, uh, which is that in the URL is not really cool. 
or sample page, instead of saying slash sample page, it just says question mark page underscore ID equals two. This is horrible. Um, so you can solve this by going to settings permalinks, and you should do this pretty much straight away because you don't want Google indexing a lot of wrong stuff or you'll be setting up a lot of redirects potentially. So uh, most people will go for post name as their sort of default setting. I go recommend that if you're not sure, go with post name. Hit refresh now, it should happen pretty much straight away. Uh, if we go back to the home page, I click sample page. Okay, here we go. So I I made a page, let's say I made a, it's the old contact us page. And contact us here. Let me just save the draft. You can see the URL here is slash contact us, and I'd publish that. Now, later on, maybe we did a marketing campaign, and 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 all the the posters and stuff have been printed as the slash contacts instead, or vice versa. Um, I could just go in and. Um, I could go in and just make this slash contact in here, yeah? So this will be the new URL, updated, chatmendata.com slash contact. However, uh, and a WordPress will often have a stab at, um, if if someone types the wrong URL, it would sort of have a go sometimes at trying to find the right page, but now Google is, you know, imagine we published that page a couple of weeks ago, Google's index slash contact us, people are remembering slash sort of contact dash us, uh, but the real page is we have to have slash contact. Um, well, let me if we go back to the uh, if we go view page, you'll see here is our slash contact, which is correct. But someone had bookmarked slash contact us, and we don't want them to hit 404 page, which we would get if the, if, if the page couldn't be found, something like this. We get slash contact dash us. As if by magic, it's just redirected to slash contact. So that's a really simple example of a redirect. Uh, as I said, I'm not going to go into the, uh, the kind of hundreds of different combinations you could potentially have for redirects, but you, I think you certainly get the idea. And with the combination of redirect rules here and the ability to associate different domains with your site here and redirect them to other domains, you basically have full control through this control panel of um, any kind of reader that you want to set up as well.